Hi family, I'm Jordan Thorpe and this is Jordan's Journey YouTube channel where we are moving forward in life and in faith. If you are new, welcome. If you're already subscribed to the family, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today family, I wanted to talk to you in regards to God has healed your land. There's three different parts of this message that God gave to me. And um, the first part was that God has healed your land. And he sent me to 2 Chronicles 7, 14. And it says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal, heal their land. Okay, and so, a lot of you have have break, broken the generational curse, okay? A lot of your ancestors and family members were living under a curse. Their land was cursed. Their territory was cursed because of disobedience. But because you humbled yourself, you prayed, and you were seeking God's face, and you turned from, their, from your wicked ways, and are following the commandments of God, okay? He says, I heard you, and I forgave your sin, and I'm healing your land, okay? So the land that was once desolate, the land that was once sick and cursed is now blessed. It's now blessed, and so your territory is blessed, and your land is has been healed because you have turned from your wicked ways and kept God's commands. And that's why it's important to, to keep God's commandments. You know, just start with the Ten Commandments, at least, because there are blessings attached when you keep God's word and keep God's commandments in a world that is telling you to do the exact opposite, that is normalizing the exact opposite of what God told us to originally do in the first place, okay? So he honors that ob that obedience, okay? So he said he has healed your land. Um, and another part of this message is that watch out for monitoring spirits, okay? People who are being used by the kingdom of darkness to monitor you and to keep tabs on you and to what you're doing okay and so these people may come in the form of liking every photo or they you know on social medias because social media is an open platform for people to see you what you're doing what you're up to um, but it can also come in the form of somebody just watching you and not saying anything. They may not even follow you and you may not even be aware, but monitoring spirits. And so when I looked up the word monitor, okay, it, it said um, people who keep tabs. Okay, people who keep tabs, observe and check the progress or quality. So they're observing you and checking your progress. They're checking your progress to see how far God is taking you, to see how far along God is bringing you. And they're reporting it back to the enemy's camp. They listen and to report. That is another um, definition of mon mon monitoring. They listen and report. Okay, so they're observing you and checking up on you. God said block and delete. It doesn't matter if it's family. It doesn't matter if it's friends. If you feel that something is not right in your spirit, you need to block and delete. You don't need anyone mon monitoring you and going back and reporting to the enemy's camp to try to make things harder. Okay, so God is saying block and delete. And he will lead you to those people, whether it's through a dream that he shows you who they are or if you get a check in your spirit that something is not right block and delete okay and so also he was telling me to keep the eyes on the prize okay the lane has been healed you have broken the curse and so it is important to keep your eyes on the prize and so in philippians 3 13 through 14 
It reads, brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straightening forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal of the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Okay, so as God is elevating you, your land has been healed, and it is now, it went from a cursed land to a blessed land. God is saying, forget what lies behind and strain forward to what lies ahead, okay? Press toward the goal of the prize. And what is the prize? Your calling of God and Jesus Christ. So keep your eyes on God as he is calling you higher. And I love how it says, I press on toward the goal of the prize of the upward. So there is an upward progression, okay? An upward progression in your life where when you are in alignment with the will of your life, there is upward progression. You're moving upward, okay? We're not going backwards. We're not looking back. We're not looking to the left. We're not looking to the right, but we're constantly going up, okay? And in the dream that I had that confirmed this message, it was someone looking up they were in the air but as long as they were looking up they kept traveling up but as soon as they looked down or looked back they started to fall so god is saying keep looking up keep your eyes on him keep your eyes and focus on what he's calling you to do because that is an upward progression of where he's taking you okay and so that's how you continue to move forward in an upward progression, okay? And so, God said, keep your eyes on the prize. Your land has been healed. It went from a cursed land to a blessed land. Your territory is blessed because you turn from your wicked ways. And watch out for the monitoring spirits, y'all. People just trying to keep tabs on you, block you, trying to call you. Uh -uh. Block and delete. Keep your eyes on the prize, what God's telling you to do. Keep moving forward in your upward progression, okay? That's all I have for now. I also wanted to mention the Journey Academy will be launching soon. We have courses. We have the full video podcast episodes that you can watch. Um, and then we also have Bible video reading caps, okay? So I'm recapping five chapters of the Bible each week. And it's more of a deeper dive. Uh, than what I'm doing here on YouTube. Um, so make sure you guys sign up uh, so you can get in. We're also meeting once a week. I mean, not once a week, once a month inside the group. Um, we're doing Q and A's, we're doing lives and so much more. So make sure you guys sign up. The link will be in the description box below. If you have the app, Jordan's Journey app, you'll find it there or you can visit jordansjourneycoaching.com. God loves you so much, and so do I. Shalom.